Part of me is actually quite nervous to be talking about the bicyclettes to Belsize because I live in Belsize. I live in Belsize Park and interestingly most of this short film is actually filmed in Hampstead uh, which is up the hill and I first visited Belsize Park in Hampstead in 2013. I fell in love. Eventually I moved here and it is my home. And one thing that I loved watching when I wasn't visiting here was Le Bicyclette de Belsize. Obviously this is most known as the song by Engelbert Hunkerdink and obviously that song is beautiful and yes it does feature in this little short. Now it's only half an hour. I think it, it was released alongside um, the London Nobody Knows, which I have seen and it was interesting, but obviously for me, De Belle Size is where my love is. So I'll read the description from IMDb, and this says, An enchanting musical love story about a young man who falls for a model after seeing her picture and then takes to the streets on his bicycle to find her. It's a little bit ludicrous, but it's very sweet. We have four characters, really. The boy, the girl, little girl, and little boy. The girl... Is, is is brilliant. She's played by Leslie Goddard and she's got some fantastic, fantastic facial expressions. Um, but the boy, our protagonist, is Anthony May and he is chasing after Julie, played by Judy Huxtable. And basically, he's just cycling all around Belsize Park, even though it's technically Hampstead, to to find her and then try and woo her and, you know, he's in love with her. And it is a little bit of a weird romance. I don't really want to say how it ends, even though it's not really the kind of thing you can spoil. But it does end with a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous frame on Hampstead Heath. This is not something I would have enjoyed if it wasn't for the fact it was filmed in Hampstead. I love watching it to spot the locations. The only kind of time it even comes close to Belsize Park I think is when it's coming down Hampstead High Street and you kind of recognise that it's broaching Rosalind Hill. Um, but I don't think it ever quite gets down as far as Haverstock. It is mostly filmed in Hampstead, but you can easily recognise a lot of locations, which is brilliant. The fact that it was filmed in the 60s, just it feels 60s, you know, the fashion, the the architecture. I know a lot of Hampstead architecture hasn't changed, but certain certain aspects has um, certain aspects have. But I really, really love this. If you're interested in this part of London, absolutely watch it because the filming locations are breathtaking. We do have some incredible camera work here because obviously he's on bicycle. It's quite fast. There's a lot going on. And we have some brilliant camera work with that. And the soundtrack's exquisite. The story is sweet, a bit cheesy and slightly creepy, a bit stalkerish. But it's fun. It's good fun. It's directed by Douglas Hickox. It's one that I thoroughly recommend. It, it's 30 minutes. I'd love for you to check it out and let me know what you think of it. It's it's good fun. If you've also seen The London Nobody Knows, I'd, I'd be very interested to know what you think of that. But The Bicyclettes de Belle Size is just a fantastic way to lose yourself in Belle Size and Hampstead when you can't be here. Hopefully I'll never be in that situation, but I really love it. It's It's something I will go back to again and again. It's beautiful.